Hey, welcome to Two Drunk Brothers Garage. I'm Ken. I'm Ray. Cheers, Cheers. brother. Cheers. Uh, we are not mechanics. We don't claim to be mechanics. We're doing this all for fun. And uh, please don't do what we do. And please drink responsibly. And now, on, on to the, the videos. videos. Cheers. Cheers. So we got it drug in where uh, Kenny's gonna. It's only got 5,980 miles on it. 89 miles. Or 69. What about pulling over? Is the engine uh, pull over? See if it's even. Oh, yeah. Pulls right over. Oh. Yeah, they're both wrong. It's a 540. What? Oh, so it's a 540 Yamaha. I, I honestly did not know. We didn't know what it was. A Alex has been, um, he just Ooh. typed in the VIN number. I don't know if I want to put the Excel. Hey, some beer cans. We got beer cans down in there? Uh, yeah. Well, let's see if we got any full ones. Oh, no. No? MGD. MGD Light. MGD Light. I'm afraid to stick my hand in there. Bonus. There. He's afraid to stick his well, hand. Well, I don't know what's going to in there be biting me. <laughs> There could be critters. Oh, of course, light. light. See if we get a trifecta. Oh, old coffee cup. It's seen better days. I think that's it. There is definitely a woodsy um, mold woodsy. smell coming. Uh, moss, mossy yeah, smell moss. coming off of this yeah, guy. She's got moss all over. Yeah. She's a. She's got. It adds character, folks. It adds character. You have to mix the gas on this? You do have to mix the gas oh, on this. Correct. That's why. That's because you're missing the oil reservoir. No, uh, this wouldn't have an oil reservoir. No, he's 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 Googling it and it shows an oil reservoir, which that makes sense. Listen, folks, uh, this is not uh, the way it came from the factory <laughs> at all. And Alex found that it does have a 540 in it, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is the, the born fluid. with. Oh, that's a good sign. Starting fluid. What? What? Uh, does that have a year on that can? Liquid gunk. Uh, oh. Probably predates when they dated cans and stuff. I don't even know There's, if they. I don't even know if they date um, uh, petroleum product cans. Plugs. Looks to be the same engine. Okay. Another lid for The Excel three was a three four. Gotcha. So the Excel well, 5, would be a five designates the 540. So here's the spark plugs we need for the NGK B9ES. B9ES. Okay. So when we get some new, if that's what's even in there. Oh, yeah. We definitely need one spark plug wire. We'll this probably miss the 540. The other one's a little <laughs> Wonder what kind of uh, since it don't have an oil reservoir. Wonder what kind of gas mixture we have to make to make it not smoke. Well, yeah, see, and I think that's the reason uh, it's got its name, folks, of Smoky Joe. Uh, the person I got this from. Uh, now it makes a little bit more sense. I think this is actually the first time I've ever opened the hood on this thing. I used to just fire it up, run, and drive it around the uh, cul-de-sac here. Put gas and in it. And no, I don't think I've ever added gas to this in all the years oh, I've owned speaking it. Speaking of gas. But um, oh, I believe man. they had it mixed at 50 to 1 and it smoked a lot. And that 50 to 1 might be a little richer uh, than. Uh, <laughs> did you see that? I did not. No, oh, the starting fluid's working. <laughs> Smells good, Ken? Oh, that <laughs> don't even smell like good starting fluid. How's it? What, what's it smell like? It smells like it's rancid. Rancid starting fluid. There we go. It's not as potent. Don't smell as potent as a fresh spot. Alex is going to smell a vision here. Well, that's not even as bad as <laughs> Yeah. That's like watered down stuff. It probably is. Oh, I'm get, catching a whiff of it now, yeah, too. Either. See, it even says check oil when refueling. So this, at one time, had... Had an oil pump. An onboard oil pump was supposed to be right in there somewhere. And uh, it's not there. Oh, hey. So, 
I should get a flashlight so I can see down in there. Yeah, get a flashlight and we'll... Maybe that is all our problem is. Maybe it's out of gas. Maybe it'll fire right up. Two new spark plugs and spark plugs. This thing fires right up. We need to send this video to Yamaha. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about spark plugs or anything, Ken. I'm just talking about putting some gas in it and seeing if we got it to go. I, I might even have a little mix of gas up there. I mean, this could be, uh, you know, if she runs, then it's 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 ready to go. We don't need to do anything to it. Eh, I don't think there's well, yeah, there's a little bit of something in the bottom of it, but hard to see the steering the handlebars are so far bent yeah there's a i mean nothing in the bottom of it to hurt but i see that there was oil in it at one time maybe that's what's in it because it's kind of a bluish green down in there okay well how's it smell i don't know it's kind of hard to get your head down that far i don't know I don't smell anything don't smell anything. Well, that could be a good sign. At least it's not varnished and tarnished. Yeah, the bottom of the gas tank actually looks pretty clean in there. Well, it looks like there's just a... Do you have mixed gas? Right there. Right there? Well... For the, it's 50 to 1 for the weed whacker. 50 to 1 is all right. That's what we were on in Smokey Joe. The only thing, there's no spark. There's no spark coming in there, so it wouldn't fire. It's got one... It'll run on one cylinder. Should run on one. You can dump that in there. I don't care. We are missing. We do need to get some spark plug wires. We might have to make a run to the Yamaha dealer. Do we even have a Yamaha dealer in this town anymore? Oh, yeah, we I'm do. Right by Chippos. By AIH. AIH. Don't use all his. Well, oh, he ain't going to be weed whacking anytime soon. But in case it, the. It's been sitting around for a while, so I can make some new. Yes, yeah, it wasn't full. Oh, yeah, the, the was, jug, yeah. It wasn't even a gallon. It was probably half a gallon, three quarters of a gallon. Do I not have a vent hole in that thing? No. Probably not. We are missing one spark plug wire. No one's pull, on there. Pull out and look at them. No, we don't need to. We don't need to look at them. I'll get. I'll get some. Uh, uh, where can you even spray it in on this thing? Sorry. Yeah. Pull the spark plug out and spray it in there for a second. Do that. Yeah. Or just pull her over and see if she's gonna go. Yeah. Old Smokey Joe used to be a reliable. No matter how long it sat. Well, evidently over 15 years or. 12 years or Alex is saying since he been up here and he got up here in 2013 so yep. it's been maybe nine years since it ran I don't recall but I'm getting old I think the kill switch is um, up is push it push it wait Oop. up is good right and this don't have a key so I don't know if it's gonna I don't think it ever had a key oh there might be a key hanging up in the house for this no. how do you know do you know all the keys on that board inside the house? Oh, oh hey, there's a choke. If it works. And, and wait a second. Uh, kill switch needs to be down for fire, up for unfire, right? So if you're riding, or is it up for fire know. and you hit it down I have to, no idea. to kill it? My Polaris was down to kill it, but that's Polaris. Pushing down to kill it. Yeah. So up to run, up to run. That's... That only knows if it's even getting any no spark. Sir. All right, we could, uh, real quick, go down. Let's just check that. All right, I guess we need to pull a spark plug, see if we're getting any spark. Size is that? Spark plug wrench. 
a spark plug wrench in the in the three eighths drawer drive three eighths drive drawer in the red toolbox there. Kind of a it's got a rubber grommet in it. No. It's a regular spark plug wrench. I have two sizes, a 13 16 and a 5 8. You know you could have grabbed the ratchet out of the drawer there. Well, spark plug isn't seized in the hole anyhow. Good thing. We'll see if it's wet. Got any fresh fluid on it. Pretty oh. clean. Almost brain. Oh, it's got those, uh, what's it called? Hey, hold up. Don't step back in here yet. So this is a different NJK, NGC. This is a BKR6EXU. That a little gross. That one's a little suited up. That could be from it running rich. From uh, not having Play. injected oil? Or running without a spark on that side of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, before you do that, I thought we were going to check spark. Oh. So. Ready? Yep. I am not seeing anything there. Hit the uh, kill switch. Because they don't have. Try it one more time. I like to know what that switch is right there. Oh, wait. Low, high. Oh, we got spark now. Okay. It was the thing's off. We got a. Oh, start. There we go. Well, no, the key says the engine start, but see if you still got it right there in that position. Nope. Okay, middle so they. So they. It's got to be. This go, is a three way switch. Yep, go it's ahead. It's got to be in the middle switch. Middle switch. Uh, go ahead. Nope. What the hell? There you go. Oh, no, I just put it back up. Well, that's fine. Up is spark. Well, it wasn't. Well, it is now. Time. So, up here. Well, I think you just blew all the starting fluid out of that cylinder. Oh, that's true. We're only going to get her to run on one anyhow, but... We'll put, both of them. Fires. we'll put both of them back in there. You got her on there? Yeah. You were one click away. You don't have to be too tight. Tighten that one up real quick, please. Oh, I already ran her in by hand. You just gotta. <laughs> oh, look at that. Whole smoky drill running on one cylinder. We might not get be getting any fuel. It might have been running on the. Uh... But let's do that one more time. Well, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure last time I was checking this thing out years ago, you guys told me it had no fuel line on it. Oh. It might not have any fuel line on it, but let's hear it run one more time on starting fluid. Gotta pop that back open. Cause yeah, we were actually we don't have a gas to pull the. You see any fuel line? Going to the carburetor. 
There's that guy there. Yeah. And then on the bottom here, I got one on the bottom coming underneath the carburetor. A, lot of, a little bit of cobwebs in here. All right, let's hit her with the spray juice one more time and just hear it run. You don't have to tighten up tight. That's good. Snap that down. Oh, come on, smoke. Oh. Oh, hey. The spark come out. Spark plug. <laughs> Wire right there. <laughs> well, she didn't catch that time. What? We know she fires. We know. We know she fires. Then she fired again. Might be running a little bit better. Do her again. Let's see if we get it running off the gas. Alex is holding the broken spark plug wire to the top of the spark plug. Oh, that's all she needs. That twin cylinder. Look at that. Even the, even the dashboard lights work. Headlight work, folks. Look at that. Oh, Smokey Joe. Oh, Smokey Joe is alive. Hey, get him. High five. Alex. Oh, well, you got to have that, two spark plugs to make her run. <laughs> well, to run That's right. Amazing. Well, as soon as he let go of it, it's Yeah, fine. I know. Sweet. Can I just duct tape that spark plug line on there? Well, look I at that. I'm going to go down to the Yaha dealer and go get one and go run up and down the road. <laughs> I, I don't even know if we need to. We just need spark plug wires, right? You got any old uh, spark yeah, plug wires smaller. off of a... No, because you got to have the smaller end down here on the coil. Really? It's really... Yeah, we just need the one. Well, we're not going to do anything half-assed on this channel. Well, maybe we are, so maybe we just need one. Wow. I'm impressed. I, I told you guys, Smokey Joe is reliable. We just, she, he just needed a little love. It is kind of smoky in here. I don't think you guys can see it, but he's living up to his name. And I can't wait to, uh, for everything to melt off of here to give you guys a real, we'll try not to clean up anymore, but it really does have a lot of moss growing all over it. Here's on the handlebar. Well, if you're going to go grab a spark plug, are you going to pull these little spark plugs out? No, I'm nah. sorry. All right. So Alex did some research uh, earlier, and we found out this was a 540. We didn't know what year this is. Um, he's thinking 83, but we haven't been able to find out. I bet you if we go to the Yamaha dealer and tell them what we have. Just take a bunch of pictures of it or show them the video. Well, and we do have the we do have the ID tag here eight kilo one zero zero five five seven seven. I don't know if that's the chassis number. We're looking on the motor to see if we can find out what year it is. But yeah, Clean the cobweb off the. No, it's just the weird spot. I've got 0 0 8 H 8. 0 0 8 H 8. 8 H 8. Alright, maybe the Yamaha dealership can tell us oh, what you're. You can tell that when they were riding it, they were bringing the thing up in the cords cutting into the seat right there. Oh. <laughs> we also realized that old Smokey Joe at one time had a battery. It's got an electric start. It's got a starter on it. Electric start. Yeah, you want to get that? Has a starter. I don't know if they can get it. Hey, is there... It was a, it was a high class rig. I don't know if we can. Yeah. Zero, zero, eight, eight. 
H8. That is exactly what I see. Wow. Amazing. Brakes might need a little help. Ah. Wonder how good the uh, chain case lube is. Anyhow. All right, I think we found some more information on this sled. Alex, what did you say you found again? I looked up, I typed in Yamaha Excel 5008H8, and it brought up a forum, and this guy has the same case number, same sled, and his is a 79, but I can't find any other information on it. So we could possibly have a 1979 sled. Maybe we could take it into the Yamaha dealer and maybe they can confirm take for the, us. Take the numbers into them, see if they can. I think we've yeah. come to that conclusion that it's between a 79 and an 83. E, right. The older the better, I guess. I'm just looking for any other tags or anything. You know, motorcycles used to have them on the frame, you know, a sticker on the frame rail. But right. I'm not seeing anything like that. I don't know. There is something right there. I think that's just a bolt. Oh, that is just a bolt. So I, I saw that on the other side and I was wondering what it was. Well, we're going to let her taillights bust it out, but it's got a bulb in it. We're gonna let her thaw out. And when we get the parts that we need, we will uh, film again. All right, everybody, we're gonna put uh, snow, snow machine dollies under it so we can move it around in the shop. Got two for the skis and then one goes under the track. If you don't know what they are. No, I was showing. Oh, got four wheels, piece of aluminum on the skis. It's got a groove cut in it for the skag. skag on the skis. A little farther back there, brother. Yeah. You notice he tells me that, but he's not helping. No. I'm holding the camera. That's right. <laughs> God only knows where that one exactly went. She's underneath the track, though. Yep. So now it should just. It might be a little hard because of all the dirt on the floor. It's good right there. We should have put the engine dolly back in front of it though. Hey, Ray, we might, we might want to fix that. That ski, I think the thing is sliding from underneath it there. I guess those gotta be like right underneath the, what you call it there. There we go. So now real quick, I'm gonna pull off the plug wires and uh, um, so I can take them to the dealer and just have them match them because we're not, one of them's an NGK uh, coil wire. The other one is a, Kimplex coil wire. Who knows which one is is what? Is what? I'm grabbing a pair of uh, channel lock because the one the side on the coil were pretty. Uh... There is a that lime green handle pair of pliers that are in that specialty pair. They're supposed to be spark plug pliers, but I don't know. Uh, them are to well, pull. I don't think that's big enough to pull off of the that coil. Right. I mean, we know they come off the spark plugs, no problem, because we yeah. take them off. I, no, I, I'm I, just I, saying that's what those are, spark plug pullers. I tried pulling off the... Uh, I tried pulling off the plug wires a little bit ago, and they were not hitting about the... Well, there goes the boot.
Does that even come off there? Uh, or you gotta get the whole coil. I don't see why you would have to get the whole coil, but I mean, I've seen stranger stuff on vehicles and That one, the one that's broke. The one that's broke. Well, yeah, the one that's broke is. Well, they're both can. I don't know, bro. I think those are. Uh, I think we got, we got to change the whole coil. I think. I bet. You wouldn't think so. Well, there's two different wires. Wires on it. But okay, I'll play their silly pet tricks. I will, uh, this looks like a spade lug connector here, down to here. There you go. I forgetting to turn the flashlight on on this thing. Let me go get a Phillips head. I can't believe that these need the whole coil, but like I said, stranger stuff has happened. Yes, it has. There's some numbers right there, too, on top of there. Yeah, i seen that. I just didn't know if it was for this uh, plastic housing. Or, no, that's actually part of the motor. The numbers are... SA5350-55777, which the 005577 matches the chassis number down here. Yes, so, if I was led to believe... It's original motor for the sled. And that would be what I see. And it's probably a 535 cc. What and not say, quite five, a 540, five, but they call it a, a 540. 540. Right. So uh, that don't look like they come out of there, does it? No, well, it doesn't look like they come out of there easily. I don't know. Guess you'll find out, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna take the whole whole thing to the dealer and see what they say, see what they tell me. Yeah, because you could stop by on the way. Well, that's a Kimplex 014. Hmm. All right. Well, everybody, well, that's where we're gonna leave this for now. Um, we'll get some parts, maybe uh, show some more you guys. Gas. Cleaning this up, getting the uh, coil pack wires in there, get her running good, and then uh, maybe start cleaning it up a little bit and giving uh, old Smokey Joe some new life. All right, everybody, we just got that coil off, and uh, I'm going to take the whole thing. We can't see how to get the wires off of there. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but uh, we'll take it in and... Uh, Get some parts, and that's gonna wrap it up for Smokey Joe yeah. today. All right, cheers, cheers. brother! We got Smokey Joe so running. Surprisingly, I was, I was really surprised. I, I, I was uh, that long. I, I was surprised, but I had a feeling that uh, it used to be very reliable, and uh, it uh, proved us right again. But uh, you guys will see more Smokey Joe when we get them the, the parts, the parts, and. Get it cleaned up, maybe uh, get the mm, seat fixed. Who knows, we'll just have to uh, see where it goes, but the next step will be getting it running. Black Gorilla Tape will fix the seat. There you go, Black Gorilla Tape. Well, we, we can even throw some red, some yeah. blue, some white. I don't know, we can make it, you know, patriotic. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we've already kind of talked off camera, we're gonna label his uh, hood, his hood with his name. Smokey so. Joe. And we're going to continue running 50 to 1 because he will continue to be Smokey Joe if we run 50 to 1. <laughs> so, yeah. anyhow, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Like, subscribe, comment, and uh, look for next part of uh, Smokey Joe Live.